Alright guys, so I recently made a video about the Monowalker Fatmate, the final production unit. Over the last two years I've been making videos about the prototype and now of course it's finally in full scale production and I wanted to do an unboxing video so this might only be relevant to those who are really interested in the Monowalker hiking trailer. If you want to know what you're going to get if you do order a Monowalker, uh, this will be a video for you so sit back and enjoy. Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So today you're going to see the unboxing of the new and improved Monowalker Fatmate. And uh, this one has a lot of upgrades from the original design. And lots of the things are the same. The, the core platform is the same, but there's been a load of improvements. So I haven't unboxed anything yet. Everything's still in the packaging, but I kind of wanted to show you that how it would look if you ordered one basically and what you're getting also you get to see my studio this is where it all happens folks hollywood productions are made here dreams come true here just kidding anyways this is a green screen by the way if you don't know what that is google it so it comes in a a decent sized box when i first had this shipped to me from Auto Walker, the last one, it was all sorts of weird shapes of different size boxes. This one is a lot different. So we have some stuff in envelopes. We have a nice hip belt here, which is very sturdy. Kai Fuchs, the guy who makes these, always goes all out. He, he goes overkill on everything, kind of like my bug out roll. It's all like made premium, premium materials. It's like we got some stainless steel buckles and with three dimensions of swivel. I'll talk about this all when we put it all together and I'll do a video on with this in action. I'm actually going on a 40 kilometer hike tomorrow and I got to get this set up tonight. I got to make a video. I got to get everything packed and then I got to go on this three day excursion. So busy, 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 no sleep for the wicked. These are the, looks like the backpack straps or not the backpack, but the harness straps. So looks like pretty solid construction there as well. Got some metal on there, some plastic D rings, but only plastic D rings where it really doesn't matter. So good oh yeah we even got some water bottle holders for the handles so that's gonna be cool that's something new actually I'm thinking I could put some bear spray in there bears might be ornery this time of year so this is the other thing I had sent I don't know if yours will be sent like this mine was it's a tire so I got to set this up he said it comes with a Kevlar liner, so pretty cool, pretty ruggedized, ruggedized tire. This is the rim, really heavy duty. This thing can probably, I think about how much a normal bike rim can hold, like a three, 400 pound person. This is like double that, double spokes, everything. So, pretty cool. This looks like the disc brake system. Nice and wrapped up. What do we got here? Whoa. I wonder if this is a, oh no, this is the other part of the disc brake. I think this is the part that mounts to the actual tire. What is this? Okay, this is the tire tube. So it looks like I'm gonna be in for a, is that a Presto valve or is that normal? That's, I think that's a normal valve, which is good. So I don't need any fancy attachments. I think the last one might have been a Presto valve. Now this, oh, ho, ho, this is another new addition. This is actually one of the side uh, saddles. I don't know what you want to call it. Side pockets that goes on the side of the wheel. So, 
it's gonna free up space because these go on each side of the wheel. You can carry another like 20 kilograms of gear in there. All in all, I think he was saying that the total amount of real estate just in the in the monowalker, that's not including your backpack, whatever you have on your person, is around 220 liters. So you can carry a lot of gear on this sucker. I'm guessing probably easily 150 pounds of gear. And of course that's gonna amount to 75 pounds of gear because half the gear, actually sorry, um, a lot more than that is on the tire this time because the stuff that goes in these bags over the tire, none of that weight is actually felt on your person. Now when you pull it, obviously it's still gonna require you know, energy to pull it, but it's still gonna be much less so than if you had to actually physically carry it. So I'm guessing it's gonna be like a 70-30 split, meaning 70% of the weight is going to be on the tire and on the monowalker itself, and 30% of the weight you're gonna be carrying. So do the math, you're doing 150 pounds, about 30% of that, it's gonna feel like carrying a 50 pound pack. Now I must say though, because of this harness system, it doesn't ever feel like a 50 pound pack and at any time you can use the disc brake to stop the mono walker and you can kind of lean into it and which basically takes the weight off so it's like taking the backpack off without having to take the backpack off i explained that in my original mono walker video you can go back and check it out now it also depends on whether you're on a decline or an incline if you're going downhill with the mono walker behind you it's gonna feel like you're carrying no weight at all. If you're going uphill, you lose that advantage. So it's actually gonna feel like you're carrying probably 100 pounds uphill. Again, you can always stop, take a breather, just by using the disc brake. I explained that all in my original Monowalker video series. You can go check that out. I'm gonna make a new playlist of all those videos and I'm gonna put this one in there and the other videos I make some part, not sure what that is. That might actually be some kind of hex key thingamajigger. Uh, these are the handles. It looks like the uh, place where the handles connect to the main platform. I'll show you it all put together afterwards. Uh, just more parts for the main platform. Everything's really nicely packaged. Packs flat, which is nice. This thing weighs about, I think it weighed around 25 or 30 pounds. And again, you gotta remember, it's really only about 10 to 15 pounds in your body. So even though the Monowalker weighs 30 pounds, you're only really carrying half that weight because the other half is on the ground on the tire and of course it allows you to basically half all of the weight thereafter so if you think of it this way if you have 80 pounds of gear that you want to take into the bush monowalker weighs 20 30 pounds let's say 70 pounds of gear just so my math brain can compute this 70 pounds of gear 30 pound monowalker let's be conservative estimate and say it's going to feel like 60 percent of that weight so it's going to feel or 65 percent it's going to feel like you're carrying 35 pounds when the reality is you're carrying 70 pounds of gear. So you see how you make up for the weight of the monowalker. This is a pretty cool new addition. This is a new bag. Which is very much like the Ortlieb bag. This one is made for monowalker. So we're gonna see how this one performs. It's a lot bigger. It doesn't have a zipper, which means less breakage. It has Velcro and it rolls up the seal. So that actually is kind of cool. Uh, we'll see how long the Velcro lasts. Velcro is pretty good. Like, you know, especially with a roll system like this, the Velcro is really just there as a placeholder. It doesn't really serve a lot of actual function. Got some nice handles on here. These are actually the handles that we're gonna be using on our rolls. So. That's great minds think alike, I guess. It's pretty lightweight, but it um, looks really good. Nice waterproof, big bag. And of course, this is the main platform, chassis, whatever you want to call it. 
So let's take all these parts out of their plastic. A couple more parts down here. See what kind of tools I need. And we'll uh, get building. So I had to do this quick because I got a lot of stuff to do before I go on this trip tomorrow night. But I just wanted to show you what all the parts look like when they're all laid out. So this is basically what you get and you have to assemble it. So there's gonna be a bit of assembly at start. My original monowalker probably took me about an hour to assemble. I inflated the tire, that was easy enough. Anyway, so once I get this all assembled, I'll be able to better break down what each of these parts is for. It's really just gonna be a game of, there are no instructions, so it's just gonna be a, a game of mess around until I get it right. And it should be too hard because it's not a very challenging design, but it's certainly going to be time consuming. So I want to get to it. Technically, you could break this all down, put it all in the big bag, have plenty of room left for your gear. And that's the idea with this thing is that it converts, it transforms into a backpacking system. That's not my preferred way to use this device. To be honest, using the model walker, I've only had to do that once. And it's not something I like to do because it takes a while to do. Uh, it's going to take you a good, you know, hour, give or take for pack in and take down to convert it to a backpack and then take it down again. But if you have the time, the weather's nice. It's not too bad. But if it's raining out or something, that's going to be problematic. But like I say, you still have that possibility that you can do that, which is kind of cool. So. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. If you have any questions regarding the Monowalker, feel free to direct them to myself or at the Monowalker website. If you're inquiring about purchasing a Monowalker, please contact monowalker.com. Don't forget to show your support for the channel by liking, commenting, and subscribing. Most of the cutting edge hi-fi survival gear that you see, you're probably gonna see it first here on this channel. So. If you enjoy this video, click like, subscribe, and I got an extensive playlist of probably five or six videos just about the Monowalker itself. So go check him out. Thanks for watching. Canadian Prepper out.